Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Who's It. This is a game for two or more players, it's for ages 10 and up, and the average play time is roughly 20 minutes. This just came in the mail today, and this is our first time playing, so there may be a rules goof or two, but based on what I was seeing and reading of the rulebook, this is a fairly casual cooperative game where players take turns as a clue giver. The clue giver, at the beginning of their turn, We'll go ahead and draw one of these numbered tiles here. They're numbered 1 through 6. You're going to remove the 7, 8, 9, and 10 for your first four rounds. And then for the final fifth round, you may include them depending on how far along you are on the score track. So the clue giver is going to just basically shuffle these up and then just draw one at random. And then they are the only ones that know what that is. So let's just say that I had chosen this. I'm the clue giver. I drew this. I know what this number is, no one else at the table does. After that, they're going to um, draw these character cards here. Now they're front and back. One side is a famous person, the other side is a more, I don't know, just generic, like plumber, for example. It, it, it'd be harder to guess based off of that. Let's just use actual names. Spider-Man, Lady Gaga. Abraham Lincoln and Mr. Rogers. I don't know who Jonathan Van Ness is. Do you know who that is? No. I'm, I'm wondering if he's from... Use the other side. I could, but I want, again, I want to use all actual people. Uh, okay. So, Barack Obama, I know who he is. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, now that I've got these cards out, and again, I know what this number is, and this is the person that I'm trying to get everyone else to guess, um, at least not guess. I'll explain it a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two of these clue cards up here. And again, they are front and back. So I'm going to take a look at these and decide, okay, which clues would work the best uh, for the person that I'm trying to tie to these clues. So for example, um, I'm going to take a look at this. Um, would make an excellent hostage negotiator. Um, I don't know if the person that I have I mean, even if it, even if they're not, you can put them. Uh, you can you can put this card. You're gonna put this card like here, 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 here. So definitely, probably all the way down to probably not, and definitely not. But I don't think that any of these people and any of them could fit this description. So I'm trying to find a clue that would separate the person from everyone else, if I can. Uh, talks during movies. Um, so let's just do, just, just for the sake of the example. Um, definitely not. And then we're going to take a look at this clue. Uh, meditates regularly and knows where to place the butter knife when setting the table. Um, I'm going to go with... <laughs> that's just, okay, meditates regularly. Um, <laughs> none of these clues are good, first off, for these people here. Um, you know, let's just do... Uh, neutral. Okay, so that's, these aren't very helpful clues at all. But now the other players are going to decide, okay, which people are we going to try to eliminate? They're going to choose one character at a time to eliminate. Mm. The goal here is the other players are going to choose a card that they think is not my secret card. Okay, so let's just say that Idly was looking at this grid, looking at the clues, going, okay, I don't think Alex Trebek talks during movies, so it could be Alex Trebek. Um, Lady Gaga might be the type of person um, to, huh, I don't know, talk during movies, definitely not. Um, I would, I would think her. she would. Yeah. I so would, I just would because her, she's definitely. right. So <laughs> she would go, okay, I'm going to guess Lady Gaga to try and eliminate her. Mm -hmm. And it's, this is my number. And that's the number beside that. So she would guess correctly. So we're going to eliminate Lady Gaga and we would score one point along this track. The goal is to try and guess as many wrong people as you can and leave only my chosen card standing so you can score a lot of points that way. Mm -hmm. So let's just say that Eileen goes, okay, how about uh, Barack Obama? Okay, so that's not my secret number, so we're going to do that. And let's go, okay, how about Abraham Lincoln? Well, that actually was my secret number, mm -hmm. so now the round ends. We don't score any points for that. And we're going to do this over the course of five total rounds, and our goal is to try and get as far up along this track as possible. Now, what's weird about this game 
is that no matter where you are after round four, let's say that we did really terribly and we're like only here, okay? Um, the manual says that you move your pawn up to the 10 space for the final round. So no matter how badly you're doing, you're going to move up to the 10 space for your final round. And what these numbers indicate, you're either going to be 10, 9, 8, or 7 here, um, or possibly even here, um, you're going to add extra numbers and extra cards to the last round. So if you end up on the 10 space, we're going to have 10 characters that she's going to have to pick between. And she's going to have to try and guess wrongly like eight or nine times to try and get to this who's ah space. And that, that's the best space we can possibly get to. So I know it's kind of weird to explain it without actually doing it. So let's just go ahead and reset real quick. And the role of the clue giver will alternate between rounds. I don't know if I like that either. I kind of like it if one person was the clue giver for the first just for the entire game, and then switch off, and then the other person becomes clue giver for the entire game. That's just me. Because no matter what you do, in a two-player game, if I'm the first player, I'm the clue giver, then you, then me, then you, then me. I'm going to be the... Since the final round is the only one that matters, then, like, I don't know. That, that It seems like the first four rounds are exhibitions. You know what I mean? No matter what you do, you're still going to end up on the ten. So it just, it seems to me like, I don't know, it, the, the alternate, alternating of turn doesn't really matter because it only matters, the, the last round is the only one that really matters, yeah. in my opinion. That's why I'm saying maybe just one person become the clue giver for the entire game, and then when a new game is played, they can become the clue giver for the entire game. It's up to you. We can alternate if you want to, hon. I would say, yeah. like, like, I wish, like, once someone, like, if you're the clue giver, have it just be like for one, two, three, four, five, whatever, how many, until this, until the little pawn gets to Oh, I see what you're saying. And then yeah. alternate until this spot, and then alternate again until this spot. Right. You know, I think that would have been nice. Okay. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get rid of these. And I guess we'll actually try it now. So again, to set up the game, you're going to number one through six here uh, for the cards that are here. You're going to shuffle these up, shuffle up these clues. Um, uh, I would say as a, like if we're just doing a review or a cover, mm -hmm. we can actually do it as the rules say. And yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll alternate if you want. But I'm just saying I would prefer to... Yeah. That's just my preference. Oh, look, your favorite person. Yeah, Mr. Spock. Okay, so we got Mr. Spock, the Wicked Witch of the West, Han Solo. <laughs> I see a theme going on. Yeah, uh, Jay-Z, Rosa Parks, and... RuPaul. No! <laughs> really? Alright, fine. Not? RuPaul, fine. Might as well. Okay, so... <laughs> we know who he is, at least. I don't. Really? The yeah. drag queen? No. The big, the black guy with, like, a big hair is always like me. I don't know. <laughs> super drag queen. Sure, okay. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Alright. I don't get out much, obviously. Okay, well, no, if you don't know... We That's have, fine. No, if, no, no, we based on your pick, description. Well, no. Fine, Bob Ross Yeah, is. yeah. We have to pick someone that we both know. Yeah. This game is highly modifiable, in case you guys <laughs> didn't notice yeah. by now. Okay, so uh, for the first round, I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these at random. There we go. So this is my number here. So I'm going to try and get her to guess anyone but that character so that she can score as many points as possible. So it doesn't say it in the manual, but like I don't know why you couldn't just keep drawing these at random until you find ones that you really liked. Yeah. But again, we're going to play by the rules. So I just drew the first two, and now we'll look at this. All right, so um, has been to the hospital or lifts weights. Um... <laughs> I do wish we could put at least like three or four or two on the track. Yeah, that, that would that would be a cool um, variant to the game. Does belly flops into the pool? Oh, I never and none of these people do. Really? Well, the Wicked Witch of the West would be <laughs> that would be kind of silly for her to do that, huh? Um, so, knows how to juggle. <laughs> I can picture. Uh, yeah. All right. You know, let's do this. Um, all of them know how to juggle. <laughs> I, no, I don't know. Alright, let's... I'm, I'm going through this person to see if they've ever been in a hospital. And... They've... Definitely. They've definitely been in a hospital. I know who it is. <laughs> and the other person, or th this other clue, knows how to juggle or does belly flops into the pool. 
Uh, I don't think this person would. Okay, so now, based on these clues, okay. which one do you think it isn't out of these six clues? Um, which one it is not? Because again, we're trying to eliminate as many as possible to score more points. I would say Jay-Z. Jay-Z, okay, so that is good. Okay. Uh, that is not my secret card. Because if it was Jay-Z, you would, I, I would put him way up here. Like, you think he I, would do? I think he would totally belly flop. <laughs> you would? Okay, yeah. all right. That's one, we got one point for that. Um, definitely has been to the hospital. Mm. Definitely not belly flopping. Um, Bob Ross. Good. Okay. okay. So that's another point. Okay. Sorry, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> you think he belly flops into a pool? I think he's rarely been to the hospital. He takes such good care of himself. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, um, see, we saw an episode of Star Trek where Spock saw the doctor. So... <laughs> yeah. Mm. They've all been... You know what? Let's pick Rosa Parks. Okay. Another good one. So, okay. another point. Okay. I think she was very careful to avoid the hospital. Yeah. Back in her day. Based on segregation and all that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, definitely does not belly flop. Spock couldn't belly flop, so you could have Spock. Wicked Witch of the West. She belly flops into situations, but... <laughs> however however you want to logic your way into this is fine. I, I'm just along for the ride. She... If it was Wicked Witch... The Wicked Witch of the West, I would have put her, at like, probably here or here. Han Solo has definitely been to the hospital. Um, he's always getting hurt. Han <laughs> Solo's always getting hurt. <laughs> um, and he, I don't think he would belly flop. Well, he's the same thing as the Wicked Witch of the West. That's the thing, these two are so similar. Yeah, I guess, he's based on those clues. He's always belly flopping into solo situations. Okay. okay. But the thing is, does belly flops into the pool? I know, I know. Uh, I'm gonna say three. Three. Okay. Well, that was oh, bad on my part. Yeah, I was thinking Han Solo was too macho, too tough, too of a oh, man's really? man to yeah. belly flop into a pool kind of thing. Yeah. But then again, Mr. Spock wouldn't do it, and the Wicked Witch of the West, afraid of water, certainly wouldn't yeah. do it. So I don't have... The only thing I could think of, the Wicked Witch of the West has not been to a hospital. So I was hoping that you would choose Wicked Witch of the well, West. Well, the house fell on her, remember? She's dead, but she never actually went to a hospital. But you can't take this game so literally. <laughs> what? Well, I was. In Wizard of Oz, did the Wicked Witch of the West ever go to a hospital? No. No, but she, exactly. But she needed to. Like she, she needed to, but did she? <laughs> did she? Has she been to a hospital? No. No, she has not. Okay. Okay, now this is good. Maybe this is why all of this is here. The to, practice. Yeah, to, to get a feel of what type yeah. of player the clue, gamer, the clue Giver is. Right. That's funny. Alright, so we're going to do Benjamin Franklin, Shrek, the Pope, uh, E.T., mm -hmm. Elvis Presley, <laughs> and Pablo Picasso. Now, the, the manual does say that you can mix and match. Uh, so you can do park rank, you can do like famous names and general names, like you can do both. Mm -hmm. I would imagine that the general stuff is harder, just because it's more yeah. of a... It's, you can't get into specifics too much with that, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you're going to take these mm -hmm. and just draw one at random, and I'm going to put these away. Oh, at random? Yeah, just take one at random. And these are your clues that you can... after you're done picking a number. Okay, good? Yeah. Okay. Right. So now you're going to put those clues out. There's, again, double sided, so okay. look at all four clues and decide which two that you want. <laughs> but while she's giggling, That's funny. here's a look at the uh, box insert in case you were curious. And here's um. the rule book. 
It's not very large as you can see, it's just four pages. Okay. Um. Oh, oops, hold on. What? Re I forgot to throw the three back in there. The three was from a previous round, oh. so mix up the numbers again and oh, draw one. Oh, I liked mine. I'm sorry. It stinks. Oh, man, I hope I get the same one. I'm trying to remember my fingers, but I don't remember. Oh, well, all right. How about? No, no, it's too late. It's too late. Ah, dang. Okay, that's fine. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have to change things now. You can still use the opposite end of the spectrum, like whoever you were going to do. Good, move these cards out of the way. Got detention in high school. <laughs> Maybe would make an ideal in-law. All right, well, looking at this, got detention in high school. Um, off the bat, the Pope is like, you know, so good. <laughs> He's a good guy, right? So I can't see him getting detention. I got a point, okay. I'm just saying, you know, religious leaders, they don't get detention, <laughs> right? Okay, even as a kid, they, they're brought up and, if anything, they got a ruler across the knuckles or something. Yeah. The nuns, I had nuns as teachers and they were nasty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> E.T. never went to high school. He, he followed Elliot around, but he didn't actually go to high school. So I'm going to put E.T. as got detention in high school. Um... Benjamin Franklin? I don't know what his schooling was like. Shrek? He would be the kind of person that gets attention in high school. Elvis Presley was a bad boy. Kind of? Just, I don't know. I, I can see him getting detention. Uh, would make an ideal in-law. Um, that's the one that's probably going to throw you off a little. Shrek is an <laughs> ideal in-law. Don't get! <laughs> Don't get! Can't you imagine this ogre just charging into your house? Um, I wouldn't mind Benjamin Franklin as an in-law, just saying, because, you know, smart people. Um, got the tension in high school. But you see, uh, if we're going to go literal, Shrek in any of his movies did not go to high school. So, Shrek. Darn it! <laughs> I don't go literal, you should know that, but like... I go literal! <laughs> There was no. Yeah, but he's such a like. He, you could you could tell he's like he's just out there. He sees stuff. Yeah. He's mine. He's so right. brutish. I said maybe he would make an ideal in law because he's so, such a tough guy. He'll beat up anyone for you. I see what you're saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, I I know I don't know these people personally to know if they would ever get attention. <laughs> like Elvis, to me, uh, with him being so a ladies' man, yeah. I can see him like public displays of affection. He would get attention more than likely. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like stuff like that. I I always I put like would they get detention in high school? Would they make an ideal in law? Would they jump in a pool belly flop? Like uh, that's how I'm. Well, no, I'm that accurate. specifically says got detention, <laughs> not would got. <laughs> okay. Interpreting now you're just throwing your own license no, onto these cards. I think of uh -huh. otherwise. All these people you'd have to know personally in order to get uh -huh. everything right. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had the ET, and I wanted to do. Oh. I wanted to do um, probably is a wallflower in a nightclub, and I wanted to put definitely has woken up next to a stranger on ET. Oh, goody! Dang. Uh, so I'll read these off in a minute. I like you're just. I like you're just like I don't care. I'm doing my my turn now. <laughs> I'm just getting. I'm trying to keep the camera going. Oh, what where's the numbers? Here. Uh, yeah. All right. So we've got Ellen DeGeneres. We've got Harry Potter. SpongeBob SquarePants. Ah! 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 Are you a sheep all of a sudden? Yeah, I'm a sheep. Bruce Lee, Jon Snow, I know nothing, and Count Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you thinking of the count? The swear. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's a Sesame Street. What the kids are probably uh, okay, well the parents at home. There's there someone took a song that the count sang on Sesame Street and gave it some unnecessary censorship and it is just so funny. So that's why she's laughing as hard as she is. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pick that number there and just draw two. Okay. You you plugged it into one of your previous videos. Did, yeah, I did. Alright, so I have that one. Um, okay, so, for those that didn't see it, there you go, okay. Um, alright, so I have that, that, uh, I would want them to organize my birthday party, <laughs> I would like to be stranded on a desert island with them. Oh, I know which one I would choose for that. Sorry. Nah. No, no, no. You know nothing. I know nothing. Okay. Um, but that's the thing. Now this could be interpreted like I as in me, the clue giver. Mm -hmm. What I want to be. So your responses here yeah. might be different. Yeah. That, that's what I think. I think that it's all up to the clue givers. Like, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with, see, I don't know if they have or not. I mean, I just, just all right, I'm just gonna do this. I would like to be, definitely not, I would not like to be stranded on a desert island with them. And, um, this one, I would say so. Um, because good at keeping secrets. Good at keeping secrets, definitely. Um. Hmm. I'd pick this one. Okay. Any particular reason why? Um, I don't think you would want to be stranded on a. Uh, with Ella DeGeneres. <laughs> She's just way too annoying. Well, no, well, she, <laughs> she, let's just say that she would. She's so energetic. I couldn't handle it. Yeah. yeah so yeah, move move you up one point there. All right, I uh, keep going. Um, good at keeping secrets. <sighs> Bruce Lee, it would probably be good at keeping secrets because he doesn't know English. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do? All he, all he has to say is no, no, no. <laughs> That's all he knows. Well, that could be revealing. I don't know. <laughs> but would you want to? You probably wouldn't want to be stranded on a desert island with him because you get your butt kicked all the time. So that might be What if I'm his friend? I don't know. I'm not, technically I'm not allowed to talk. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm supposed to be quiet, but you know, Jones. casual game. No. I don't think you would want to be on an island with Jon Snow. It's two alpha males. Mm. Yeah, no. Um Count Dracula? Uh, would he be good at Well, he actually probably would be good at keeping secrets. That's how he would get all his victims. Mm -hmm. So it could be Count Dracula, too. Yeah, these are some really bad Um, <laughs> I'm going to pick Spongebob. Okay, that's... Because I think you would want to be on, nah. a, on an island with him. I think yes! I think you'd love him. One point. Okay. Uh-huh. I don't love him, but he's, <laughs> he's funny. He's like Alf. I'll watch him all day. Yeah. Oh, man. This is hard. Um, I would say Bruce Lee. Okay, move up a point. Okay. Now you're just picking it random. Yeah, no. It's hard. <laughs> well, not your fault. It's getting the clues. Well, I, I think this part. I didn't. I don't think you thought Bruce Lee on, on that part. Hmm. But I don't know. Um, Harry Potter. I don't watch a lot of Harry Potter, so I wouldn't really know what you think about him. Hmm. Well, I guess ask yourself, in anything that you've seen of Harry Potter, does he keep secrets at all? I don't know. Does he? I don't know. I don't remember. I can't tell you. Jon Snow or Harry Potter or Count Dracula. All right. I'm going to pick Jon Snow. Ah, it was him! Good at keeping
keeping. He's the he's Isn't he was he's an illegitimate son. You know, I yeah. figured he had to keep that secret. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's true. That's true. And then I don't want to be on a desert island with him because a, a dragon might burn me alive or whatever. <laughs> so forget it. You know, yeah. no. Yeah. So that's why I chose those. I see. But I can see where I was hoping that Harry Potter. I mean, Harry Potter didn't really keep secrets, as far as I could tell. I I don't know. I'm not too familiar. Uh, I don't watch Harry Potter all that much. And then Count Dracula. I, I didn't make that connection, but you did, which was cool. Oh. Um, oh, about like killing his victims, like how has to be, to be secret, right? <laughs> right. All right. So that was round three. Um, we're definitely not gonna make it. <laughs> so we're gonna be on the ten space here. Uh, come round five. Yeah. I figured Jon Snow was good at keeping secrets because, except for the last season, which was out of character, everyone's character is out of character, in my opinion. Yeah. But the rest of the season, actually, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Leonardo da Vinci? Well, I right, find We both know who I know who it is. Right? Marilyn Monroe, Iron Man, <laughs> the Hulk. Wasn't he a death painter? He was a painter. He was a painter. I don't know if he was deaf or not. I thought he got bit by the ear by Mike Tyson or something. Yeah, Mike, Ty <laughs> Mike Tyson bit Leonardo da Vinci's ear off during an exhibition match. Totally. Leonardo da Vinci was in the middle of inventing something. I thought he could have. I thought he got his ear bit off or something. Or didn't he lose half of his ear or something? Are you maybe thinking of Mozart? I don't know. Or maybe. Um, I, I don't know who you. He thinking. was gay though, right? I don't know. <laughs> Do you have the numbers over there? Yeah, sorry. Okay. And let oh, me is it my you. turn? Yeah, you have to pick one. Do I get the 8 or no? Not yet. Oh, no, okay. the 7, 8, 9, and 10 only come in six. on the last round. Yep. Six. You should, yeah. That These don't come in until the oh, last that's round. Right, that's right, that's right. Okay, okay. So I have to... Oh. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. There's no way. We're going to go... We're going to be on the 10 space. How many rounds? There's five rounds. Uh -huh. This is the fourth one. Yeah. So we just gotta get all the rest. We could do it. Yeah. Yeah. This is just a practice then, <laughs> at this point. Alright. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you okay over there? This is cute. Okay. Um. So again, for the folks at home, Leonardo da Vinci, Marilyn Monroe, Iron Man, The Hulk, Santa Claus, and Cleopatra. This, is, this might be a little easy. Usually has a smile on their face. Well, I can eliminate the Hulk right away. Marilyn Monroe always smiles. Uh, I wish they were my parent. Wow. Okay, um, well, I'm going to guess the Hulk first and foremost. Um, you... Cleopatra, I can't imagine you wishing that they were your parent. And I don't know if Cleopatra ever smiled, so I'm going to go with Cleopatra. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci, I can't see Leonardo smiling a whole lot. Um, Marilyn Monroe smiled all the time because, you know, Happy birthday, Mr. President! So always, Iron Man, he had a mask, so how could you tell if he was smiling or not? Um, but you might wish... Uh, Right, I'm going to go with Leonardo here. Marilyn Monroe, I'm, I'm locking that into the last guess, probably. Iron Man, I'm going to say... See, out of the three people here, Marilyn Monroe and Santa Claus smile. Ho, ho, ho! A Merry Christmas! Always smiling, and it's possible because you love Christmas that it might be Santa Claus. So I'm going to go Iron Man because of the smile. And then Marilyn Monroe usually has a smile on their face. I wish they were my parent. Now, I can't imagine you wanting Marilyn Monroe to be your parent. I, she isn't exactly, based on her behavior in public, she may not be the perfect role model, whereas you love Christmas. So I'm going to say that one. And your card was Santa Claus. Yes, it was. Yes, that is how we do it. <laughs> I told you it was so easy. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> logic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was round four, and now this is the last round. Because we did not make it to ten, we move up to ten. Um, so, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So out of four rounds, you'd have to guess four correctly on average. 
You have to move up four on average every round to is get it to. Really, four rounds? No, what I mean is, I'm doing the math. Oh, okay. On average, statistically, in order to get to the ten spot naturally, yeah. you, every we would have every round we'd have to guess four. At you know, or maybe five and three, but on average, we need a four to get to the ten space for the last round. Mm. If you want to do better than that, we'd have to do a five and six repeatedly throughout every round to get beyond the ten space. And how many rounds are there? Five. So this is the last round. Ugh. So yeah. Um, want to do this as a? Uh, so what we have to do is I have to bring out the other numbers. So these yeah. numbers get mixed in, <clears throat> and we'll put this. Okay, so we're gonna do that and. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's see if the camera can actually see that stuff to the right there. Yeah, I think they can see that. Okay, so I'm going to just shuffle these numbers up. And this is this is the round that counts. Um, so I'm gonna have this. Whatever this ends up being, this is it. Now, where's the what? I'm guessing, hold on. It's difficult. Let me see what the... Mm. I have to look something up. Okay. You put the, the discarded cards. Well, I'm... I'm tr hmm? You put the discarded cards back. That's weird. Um, okay, let's, let's see here. Okay, all right, all right. Because of this being the way it is, uh, this one would go like that. Okay. Alright, so I got my number. Got Don't mind me. Uh, I'll explain afterwards why I was... Alright, so two clues at random. Um, just, sure. Okay, fine. Okay, um, I gotta clean this mess up because OCD, oh. I, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. What? I can't, I have to clean this up. Insanity. Okay. Alright. So, I now have to assign some clues. I'm a fan of theirs. I would gladly read their autobiography. Has a tattoo. Has a high stakes job. Um, so we've got Bilbo Baggins, Cinderella, Kermit the Frog, The Terminator, Buzz Lightyear, Madonna, Bob Marley, LeBron James, Beyonce, and Sherlock Holmes. Now, LeBron, is that a basketball player, LeBron yes. James? Okay, all right, all right. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go with, um, see, I'm gonna go with, has a tattoo probably, not sure, um, has a high stakes job or I'm a fan of theirs. Um, I'm gonna go with definitely not. I'm a fan of no. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. Kermit the Frog on the basis of... Of, I think you are a fan of his. Okay. okay. So that's one point. We're up to nine. Um. Not a fan of... Uh, the Terminator. Oh, wait. Actually, no, wait. I gotta keep thinking. Ha probably has... I don't think the Terminator would have a tattoo. I don't know if uh, he has a tattoo or not. Oh. I couldn't tell you. Like, I, I basically, I can't confirm or deny that. Yeah. Uh, you know what? No, I'll say Sherlock Holmes. I think you like Sherlock Holmes. I do like Sherlock Holmes. So, so that's, that's... Let's move that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think you like Buzz Lightyear, and I don't think he would have a tattoo. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Bilbo Baggins, isn't that an animal? It's a hobbit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> From Lord of the Rings. Oh, I think you are a fan of his, but I don't think he has a tattoo. I'm going to pick one. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> I really don't think he has a tattoo. Remember, I'm not a fan of this yeah, person. Yeah. I know. That's... I know. Um, the rest, I don't see you being a fan of. <laughs> um, except for Terminator. I think you do like Terminator. And I don't think he has a tattoo, so I'm going to pick the Terminator. Okay, good. You're up to meh. Yeah. <laughs> You're up to the meh space. Cinderella does not have a tattoo. Very good. You sure? <laughs> she doesn't have a tramp stamp? <laughs> sure she does not <laughs> it's, it's not in the kids' books or no. the movies? Okay. Just 
Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> um, the rest of these totally fit into the into this category. You're not a fan of Madonna, Beyonce, LeBron James, or Bob Marley. Um, every one of these probably has a tattoo. <laughs> I'm going to pick Madonna. Ah. Oh, no! <laughs> I, I thought Bob Marley because I, he was in the 60s. Well, I mean, he's, he did more weed than anything else, right? So I can't imagine him getting tattoos. He was more of a stoner than a tattoo biker kind of person. You know I'm what I mean? I'm pretty sure he had tattoos. Did he? I don't know. Maybe he did. I know these two don't the, tattoos. I don't know. I, so, yeah, that was, that was tough. So we made it to the... Uh, not, not bad. bad space. So, uh, now what I was saying earlier, um, these numbers on these tiles have little dots saying six or nine. Uh, these ones don't. So I was like, okay, so which one is the six and which one is the nine? So the way I looked at it, the rest <laughs> of these have on the, like the little the, bus, shade at, the bottom, the right. So this was the six, and this was the nine. So that's that's what I was like. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's that's that was one thing. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I mean, like it's cool, but I I don't think I would play it the way the game wants me to. Yeah, definitely. First off, this is pointless. The scoreboard is pointless. The first four rounds don't mean anything. You're just gonna move up to ten anyway. So why even bother? I don't know. Like I, I guess if you want to try and I mean, I don't want to say that you're going to move up to the 10 space every single time because it's very possible that you'll, over the course of four rounds, move here and then you only have eight. Mm -hmm. But it just seems like the last round is the only one that matters. So in terms of player order, again, it just it seems weird that whoever, the, the pressure is on the person that is the clue giver for the final round. Yeah. That's, 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 that's who it is. So it's like... And the scoreboard, like, I can see what they're doing with it. You know, the better you do, the less cards you have at the end of the game. But at the same time, when you've got more clues like this, odds are you're going to pick the wrong answer anyway. Yeah. So it's like with 10 choices, there, was, there were more boxes to tick off because unless all 10 are exactly the same kind of person, you're going to be able to eliminate five or six of them pop, probably before you get to the other four. So whether you have 10 cards or six... It didn't seem to matter all that much to me. You know what I mean? So the way I would play this, I would eliminate the round system and just play casually. Yeah. Like, and then use the numbers as maybe a difficulty or just a variant. Start with, si no, maybe start with like 10 just for fun. And then, you know, maybe do six this round or seven this round or nine this round. Just, just sort of mix it up. Just make it a casual party setting as opposed to a scripted the first four rounds are one through six, and then the final round is seven through ten, or seven through ten, possibly. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would have this game be like nine rounds, and the first round would have two, the the second round. Oh, would have okay, three, that's cool. The third round would have four. Yeah. That's cool. That's a cool idea. I like that. Mm -hmm. And then, well, but here's the thing, though. We wouldn't want to alternate players in that case because yeah. we would one person be the clue giver, then two, three, four, five, six, I, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I would have one person be the clue giver and have like a like a beat beat the other person's high score type. Right. Of thing, you know. So, but that's the thing, and that that's we're saying. I, I, I know I sound like I'm being negative, but mm -hmm. it's not. I'm just saying that this game has the potential to be modded in various ways to fit your player group. Yeah. So if you like the base the base rule set, fine, great, you can do that. But if you don't like certain elements of the basic rule set, you can easily modify it just as Ida Lee had suggested or I had suggested to fit your group's play style. Mm -hmm. So that, that's what I like about this. It, it, it can either be like a scripted cooperative party game or it can just be for fun, casual, let's just have some laughs kind of thing, get rid of the scoreboard, just eight this round or three this round, whatever, and just have some fun. And you can also flip these cards. I would think that the basic stuff like Dictator, when you think Dictator, you've got your choice of Hitler or any other Dictator out there. So it's like, yeah, they have the same kind of personality, but what if the clue is had a mustache? Yeah. 
How would does every dictator have a mustache? I don't know. I would have more clues too. Like if you like if you use my suggestion, right. I would put That's like, another modifiable modifi uh, modifiable yeah. element. Have three or four clues as but opposed like, to two. What mine would be would be like if you have two cards, only have one clue. And then the next round if you have three cards, have two clues. And then the next round when you have four cards, bring out another right. row, you know. I, that's good. I think I, I think cool. that's good. I mean, not like 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 I said Easily modifiable. Yeah. If you think that two clues for three cards is too much, then just do one clue for the three cards. Mm -hmm. And then maybe introduce two clues around the four mark or the five mark. It, again, modify the game how you want it, folks, is what I'm saying. <coughs> the game lets you do it. So, would you play this again? Oh my gosh, yes. I love this game. And I would mix and match. I, I like the mix and match. I like the whole... Um, like, would a, gov would a government employee have a tattoo? <laughs> like, I don't know. Well, everything is neutral. I mean, that, if I had all just <laughs> neutral, 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 I don't know. I, I like it, though, because it's funny. A king wouldn't have a tattoo. You don't know that. Well, that's that's the beauty of this game. I don't think it's supposed to be. I don't think it's meant to be as literal. Well, as I make it literal because I'm I'm one of those lo logical thinkers. Yeah. You're more of a fly by the seat of your pants emotional. <laughs> It's more fun to think, okay, would he would he have a tattoo? Would right. the king have a tram stamp? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a fan of the king? Mm, depends. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I enjoyed this. Um it's a cool party game, cool cooperative. Like I said, even though the rule book is only four pages, I could write four more pages of various <laughs> variants that you could incorporate into this yeah. to make it worth your while. So I would definitely recommend this. Um, so thanks to the folks at GameRight for sending me a copy. Um, they also sent me a copy of uh, Dragon Realm, which is the follow-up to Dragon Wood. I have yet to read the rule book, but it looks pretty cool. If you guys haven't already, uh, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. If this is on Amazon, I'll put a link in the below description, but I don't know when Game Right released this, so it may not be out on Amazon yet. Right, but I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it anyway. This is Vincent Adelie. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.